Is your air conditioner obnoxiously loud? In this video, we will break down why and we will give you a few tips and tricks on how you can quiet the system down. And stay tuned to, until the end because at the end of this video, there'll be a link to another video about Daikin Fit. And we talk about one of the reasons it's our favorite air conditioners is because in addition to being extremely efficient, it's also extremely quiet. And there will also be a link to another video titled why your AC isn't keeping up, which depending on the symptoms we describe in this video might also be another video worth watching depending on the root cause of your noise. But before we get started, if you haven't done so already, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It takes a lot of time and energy to put out content like this and is a free way you can support the channel if you find it helpful. So for starters, let's talk about two types of noise because they fall into two general categories. Now, the first type of noise will be outside noise, and this is noise coming from your condenser. Your condenser is the box that sits outside on the side of your house, and that is the outdoor portion of your air conditioner. Now, the second type of noise is indoor noise, meaning air coming through your vents or registers or sounds coming from your furnace or air handler, because depending on what is noisy, the symptoms and the causes will be different. So first, let's start with outdoor noise and what could cause your condenser outside to be noisy. Now, quite frankly, if your compressor is extremely loud, there could be something wrong with it and it could be malfunctioning. If that's the case, it's honestly subjective. And so it's best to have a technician come out and diagnose it. But if it's been loud and obnoxious forever and your AC is working fine, but you're just tired of the sound of your old loud AC, the best and really only tip is something called a sound blanket. Now you can buy a compressor sound blanket for about a hundred bucks online. And if you put it on your compressor, might quiet it down a few decibels. I wouldn't expect a huge difference, but it is definitely noticeable. And if there's nothing wrong with your air conditioner, unfortunately, that's about the only thing you can do to quiet it down outside. There are certain conditions though, like a dirty condenser or evaporator coil, but those will cause other issues as well, such as your system icing up or not keeping up. And these airflow issues often mimic the symptoms of an overcharged or undercharged system. So making sure you have a clean filter and cleaning the condenser outside is normally a good first step. And if your system isn't working, call a technician so they can get to the bottom of it. Now, what about indoor noise? The most common forms of indoor noise are all related to ductwork and airflow. If a system is noisy when it kicks on, meaning you hear noise coming from the supply ducts and registers, then there's a few things that cause that, but it always comes down to airflow. The first thing to check is whether or not your system is sized properly for your home. When you install an air conditioning unit, the indoor unit has a blower motor that is designed to move a certain amount of airflow for your condenser outside. And this is because your system needs a minimum of 350 cubic feet per minute of airflow in order for it to function properly. If you have too much airflow for the ductwork, what happens is a condition that causes a high static pressure and high air velocity. And therefore the symptoms are a lot of wind noise coming out of your registers. Now there's a few ways you can address this. First is by increasing airflow by adding a few duct runs. This only works if the system is marginally oversized. But before doing this, we want to check if your air conditioner is even the right size for your home. Because if it is, oftentimes you can turn down the blower speed on the indoor air handler or furnace because you might I only need three tons of airflow, for example, if that's the size of your condenser, but your blower settings could have happened to be set for a four ton air conditioner. Now, if you're going to be adjusting dip switch settings on the furnace control board, and this sounds overwhelming, it might be best to call a technician that can do this for you. The good news is this is often a simple fix if that's all that's needed and is pretty cheap. Now, if your system is properly sized, but you still have a lot of wind noise, one of the best solutions to reduce this is insulating the inside of your return air box and supply plenum with duct insulation. Now, this will reduce reverberation through the ductwork and can substantially reduce wind noise from the blower motor running. I would check this last because honestly, the other things I mentioned to check first are more important and you wanna make sure you're addressing the root cause and culprit. And the last step I will touch on briefly is a little more complex. So before we do that, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And if you happen to be in the Denver Metro or one of the other metros we service, click the link below in the description to speak with one of our technicians or to schedule a technician to come out. We actually come out for free for all first time customers. So if you're having chronic issues with your system and would like a professional to check it out, 
Click the link below and there will also be a list of the metros we're currently servicing in the description as well as we're always looking to expand to other markets so check that as it's updated regularly. All right and the last thing I'll touch on is how to determine if your system is sized properly. Now this involves a little math and I move quickly so just rewind the section if you need to watch it again but the first step is to determine how big your system is. Go outside look at the rating plate on your condenser and this will tell you the tonnage of your system. Step two is calculate airflow and for each ton of cooling you need a minimum of 350 cubic feet per minute of airflow. Step three is to now take your AC size and simply multiply it by 350. So if you have a three ton for example this would be 1050 CFM per minute of airflow needed. Now step four gets a little more complicated and involves using a CFM duct chart. I've linked one in the description below for you but if you simply google CFM airflow duct chart a chart will show up to help you determine your airflow flow. Now, step four, part two is to count your supply registers. And if this is a typical residential home that you're looking at, you're going to assume you have six inch ducts because that's pretty standard. However, if you have a, an older home, you definitely want to check because I have seen ducts that are as small as four inch, which is way too small. But if your house was built in the last 40 years, chances are you've got six inch duct runs. Now, each vent you see on the ground is roughly 75 CFM of airflow. So let's say you have 14 supply registers, you'd simply multiply apply that by 75, which in this case would give you 1,050 CFM. And the reason we check your supply trunk, which is in the mechanical room, as well as the amount of total registers in your home, is because you want to rule out airflow as an issue, which is why you check these things first. And the last thing on this note is all we've done now is determined whether or not your system is sized properly for your ductwork. It could still technically be too big or too small for the home, but since this video is about sound and noise, we are looking at the things that are going to cause issues and therefore cause noisy systems. And as promised at the beginning of this video, there's two other videos popping up on the screen right now. One talks about the Daikin Fit, which is one of our favorite ACs and one of the quietest systems on the market. And the other video talks about why your air conditioner might not be keeping up. And it complements this video very well because oftentimes a noisy system might not be keeping up for similar reasons.